you know, qualify, but today I was just like, let's go out there and see what you can do. So I just was here, my coach was there all the time, just telling me to relax and be in the with him. And, you know, I just wanted to be there. When are the ones traveling? Is that what you meant to Yeah, go ahead. Meet record and score record as I feel. Great, honestly. Feels great, you know. I'm just excited to run, you know, this person. It's been a really long time. Work for it for like all those years and just to get it with my, with my last other races just I feel great. I feel so happy now. This is your last outdoor, but you have eligibility? Yes. In cross country or in indoor? Yes, in cross country and indoor. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Does this change your goals at all for what you're going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's from here on just, you know, just train hard and train for more. So. Is he very comfortable? Yes, I just, you know, I just like, just stay with them, sit on them and just feel, you know, just feel the rhythm and believe in yourself and just, be confident, you know, when it comes to like, when they start move, just move with them and, you know, see what you end up with. Fantastic. Just it was at all. Oh, at some point, yeah, at some point it was like, because we just, we on press, then I like out of press and then back to the face. So it was just like, at some point it was like, back and forth, so I was like, just, you know, go with it. And, I did so. Yeah, we just have What were the moments like right after we saw the video of you like yeah. high fiving and embracing everybody? What was that like? Yeah, you know, I just I was like you know I this just this feeling of being a national champion was like you know I've seen people doing that and I'm like just this time being me you know I just didn't know what to do. And, Seeing my teammates, seeing my coach, and everybody just cheer, and I just did not know what to do. I was just excited, you know. Everything's just—I had all the emotions that you can just imagine. So. Oh, it's like wearing the old baby blue and uh, pink uniforms. I know those are special and you guys have worn them, you know, throughout the seasons on and off, but to wear them at nationals, I don't remember that ever happening. So tell me about wearing the, the, the old school vintage uh, throwback uniforms. You know, some great athletes have had them, so I was like, I just have to go there and just try and make it, you know, just bring back the history. And I'm just so happy that it happened. I just, at some point, I think I believe it's part of me was like part of me working hard and part of like wearing this uniform proving it so were you surprised that Carissa wasn't close like on that last stretch were you looking on the video board at all? I just did not know the only thing that was in my mind was just go you know just keep pushing and pushing and pushing I just did not know until I was I just crossed the line and I just, just was like you know I didn't meet anybody else at, my, at the back and I was just like oh it, it is it you know you're a champion so I know just pure joy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just being really nice. uh, and, and Coach said, if we're going to make that kick, if we're going to make that move, we're going to make it one time and it's going to be at Hayward instead of at Sacramento. You just have the big, biggest smile on your face because you just knew that it, you, you did exactly what you prophesied that, that you were, uh, were going to do. So, what, what, what was, what was that, that moment like as you were covering that last 300, 200, just saying, you know what, I played it exactly the way I was supposed to play it? Yeah, you know, 200, the only thing I could think is just like walk out and like everything, I could just hear Chris screaming, just go for it, you know, this might be you winning national, this might be you going for it. And I, that was the only thing in my mind, I was just like, just go for it and you know, you know, last week it was just like, Sharon, you can do this, you can do this. And I just, with like 200 to go, I was like, you know, there's nothing that can stop me right now. Just go out and give it all. And I just did it. So it's pretty amazing. And I feel so glad that I, my coach just kept telling me that all the way through the season. So. Uh, when it got down to, uh, to like six and, and you know uh, six women and then, and the four women and stuff like that, you just seemed to be so at peace and so comfortable. It was just like what it, you know whether Charlotte's going to push or even Carissa made uh, made the move. I mean, I know it's a very demanding race and obviously it's hard, but uh, but you just seem to have just total peace and total confidence looking at your face and your body language. Was it like that? 
or were you dying inside? Well, uh, yeah, I was dying inside, you know, it's just like part of that, it's just like hearing like, this is just so hard, but you just have to be stronger, you know, you just have to be ready to feel that much pain, and you know, at some point I was like, at the end, if I end up winning, at the end it'll just be joy, you know, I wouldn't feel this much pain, and you know, once, it'll all go away, it'll all yeah, be numb. it did, yeah, yeah. that's all, uh, I'm really, really, really grateful. Sharon, last thing, uh, so many great embraces out there, because so many people, you know, the Charlottes, the Alice, like so many people appreciate you. So many people have so much respect for you and love, and love for you. What, I mean, the, the national championship is incredible, but just that level of you know camaraderie among the athletes and, and how many people care for you. What does uh, what does that mean out there on the track to have them, you know, give you that level of reverence? You know, just it just feels great, honestly, because everybody here is a champion. It just you know, just who is willing to go for it and. Having those athletes, like competing with them was just like, it's just a great honor of like being with them and seeing how they all compete and just coming out and just trying my best to be a part of them. So it really is like a, you know, a chance and an opportunity to just prove something and just feel how everybody feels once they get there. So, okay. yeah. Well deserved, Sharon. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thanks. I really appreciate you staying. Thank you. Sharon, one last what Obviously, uh, with uh, Missouri and, and Kansas not being in the same conference anymore, uh, people, you know, aren't aware of the big rivalry there. And, and you know, but uh, um, obviously, you know, for us older folks that uh, are aware of the, that rivalry, what, um, what, to, what was it like to, to battle? I mean, you've been battling Chris for four years now, and uh, you guys have um, had some great battles. And, and just what's that respect like when you guys can... Uh, battle it out and then share a hug afterwards. I think you were laying on the track and she came over and tried to help you up and uh, and then gave each other a big hug afterward. What's the respect and the, the uh, even though there's somewhat of a rivalry there, what's that just relationship and respect level like? Actually, you know, she's like a great athlete and I look forward to her and you know, every time we compete with each other, I respect her and she respects me and just when we go out there, it's just me and her competing, you know, and just representing our school. So it's like we just grateful that we're out here like trying to compete and just be great and just you know not think of anything else you know and just be athletes so it's really really great just competing just as friends she's like I've ran with her and I look forward to her all the time I'm just seeing like I can be her and I can be where she is so right. just competing and getting to like you know getting where she is and feeling how she felt all the time is just dreadful. So. Does Co Coach Whitless he ever bring up, does he ever inspire you at practice? Well, hey, back when I had my superstars at North Carolina, like Shalane Flanagan, we were able to do this in a workout, or hey, we, we learned this after a race, or does he ever bring up any of those old stories that kind of inspire you and, and oh, pushes yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Every meeting she just, you know, brings that and, like, you know, seeing, like, all those people, like, he's coached those and just believing in them and, you know, seeing he can do that, why not me? So, you know, he's like a, he's like, I trust him and he believes in me and, you know, if someone believes in you that much, you just, you know, you just have to go out there and be like, you know, coach, my coach believes me and, you know, if I believe in myself, I can do this, so, and everybody in Kansas supports me and all my coaches are grateful, so, and I'm just so grateful for having them, so. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Kate.